Good morning. Today we're looking at example two, finding break-even points by starting with data from section 2.3, nonlinear functions. We're going to assume for this problem that the cost function is quadratic and the demand price is a power function. I uh, want to make a table of the data, plot it, use trend lines to find formulas for my two functions, then use those formulas to create formulas for revenue and profit, and use goal seek to find break-even points. I'm going to make this look very similar to what we've done before with linear functions. We're just going to make a different selection. So I'd like to insert a scatter plot. I'm going to look at my first set of data. That's my cost function. I'd like to add a trend line. We said we're assuming the trend line is quadratic, which means it's a polynomial of degree 2. I want to display my equation on the chart. I'm going to do the same thing for the demand price, except that's such a small number I'd like to go to a secondary axis so I can see the demand price. And I was told that should be a power function. So I'm going to add it as a power function. I'd like to display the equation on a chart. As I always do, I'm going to go to the home screen and look at each of my formulas and make them 12 points so that they're easier to read. I now look at my first formula. I said that the cost was going to be quadratic. So I'm going to take my cost function. It's a quadratic function. Plug it into cost. Paste in. My normal conversion from Excel to mathematics, I want to drop the Y off. This is times x squared, so times a2 squared. The x is times a2. And that gives me a projected cost, which is close to the original cost. Similarly, I'm going to look at my demand price, and that's a power function. And it's times a2 to the power of minus 0 0.453. My projected revenue is always my projected price times my quantity. And my projected profit is always my projected revenue minus my projected cost. I'm going to take this and copy down to fill in the table. And I want to do a couple of extra rows so that I can work on doing uh, break-even points. Looking at it, I have a break-even point somewhere under 100. I'm just going to guess 10 as a number to start with. And it looks like I have another break-even point, actually pretty close to 1,000, but I'm going to guess 500. And we see the formatting, my quantity here, has turned into numbers. so. I'm going to take the formatting I had when it was just numbers and not currency and say I want to take that format and give it to all of those numbers and I want to take the currency format and paint that on the prices. So I'm now going to go into my data tab. I want to do what if analysis, goal seek. I'd like to make my profit zero by changing the quantity, A8. Similarly, I'd like to make the profit here 0 by changing A10, the quantity. And so I see from this I have break-even points at 12.73 and 996.27. Thank you.